Now today we'll be testing this VSA off switch from a 2006 Acura TL. Now you may want to be doing this because you have the uh, VSA activation symbol, that's the triangle on your dash and you're pressing this and it's not going off. You may want to test this to see if this is the problem. So what we need to do is remove the switch from the housing or from the vehicle. So on the lower cover here, this is really just held in by incredibly very strong clips. So you want to pull very, very slightly, very gently pull back and we can get this switch off the vehicle. So again, just gently like so. And let me just show you what they look like. So you have these metal clips here that just hold everything in place. Now in the back, right here on the top and also on the bottom, well, let me first disconnect it where my index finger is, just press in. There we go, that's a better view. Press in, like so. So now it's disconnected from the vehicle. And then you wanna squeeze in these tabs at the 12 and the six o'clock position, and then pull the switch out. I can't do it with one hand, so let me put the camera back down. So again, I'm just squeezing in those tabs at the 12 and the six o'clock and push out, okay? So again, these tabs, right here. So you need a digital multimeter to do this test. You can typically pick one of these up, maybe 20 to $25, Amazon, local auto parts store, Home Depot, Lowe's, they all have them. But you have a number of different settings. In this case, we want the continuity setting. Now continuity, let me show you the symbol. It looks like a Wi-Fi hotspot. And all that continuity means is that two points Two points make a connection, okay? Now with the switch, let me just make sure I show you the right ones because uh, it's reversed from my point of view. But on the switch, as you can see, you have five terminals. So you have to take the multimeter and you have two leads coming from the multimeter and you're going to take the leads to terminals number one. So that's this guy all the way over to uh, your left and this guy right here. So again, one and two, and I'll set this up in a moment. So what you could simply do, for example, is you could just take the multimeter, touch the two terminals, and then when you touch those two terminals, you wanna press the switch. When you press the switch, that's when it makes the connection. So press, so in this case, I have the black lead going to terminal number two, the red lead going to terminal number one, and I'll press the switch down. Up, down, okay, Oop. that's it. So that is a very, very quick test you can do. Now let me show you another way, just in case if that was a little hard to see. You know, when I do these videos, it's a little hard to see if, uh, as I'm doing it, if you can get a good view, or if you are getting a good view. But simply, you can also use these alligator clips. So one alligator clip is going to that second terminal, okay? So the second one over from the left, and then the opposite end will simply go to one lead on the multimeter. There we go. So simple enough, certainly simple enough that anyone can do this at home. Okay, so I have leads number one and two, and let's press it in, and there you go. So that's it, very, very quick test to verify if this switch is working or not. Now, if this switch is in good shape and you still cannot turn off that triangle, uh, that's actually the problem that I'm having. Uh, I recently replaced the ABS wheel sensors and the, uh, that symbol is not going off. Now, Honda has a very specific scan tool that when they plug it in, they can short, it's called the SCS line. And with their scan tool, they can short this line. And then very simply, it's a very easy procedure that using this switch, it turns off that triangle. Uh, the flip side is you can purchase a sophisticated scan tool that would do a steering angle test or, re or a neutral reset. I don't have a sophisticated scan tool to do that. So I'm going through different things just to see if there's a way around it. On older Acres and Hondas, you can short this SCS line, it makes things easier. 
On these newer Acuras, it's just a different animal altogether. But if anyone has been successful turning off the triangle light, would love to hear back. I know a number of us uh, would certainly appreciate the help, but once I have a solution, I will post it up for you guys. So thank you for watching, and we'll continue the work here on the TL, and we'll see you next time.